<laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, with your spirit. My dear family and friends, let us all rejoice today with James William and Brianna Lee. In this celebration of love we are about to share, let us pray that they may start a new journey together with the blessings of God, and so we pray. Father, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for the church. Hear our prayers, Brianna Lee and James William. With faith in you and each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. We ask you this to Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. At this altar, you see Unity Candle. The big candle is called Unity Candle. After the vows, Brianna and James are going to light a candle. The two tapers reminds us two families, the way they have raised the beautiful children, uh, and today they are so happy. So I'm going to invite the mothers of the bride and groom to please come forward and light these two candles. to invite the cousin of the bride, Matt Boyer, to proclaim a first reading from the Old Testament.
Susan Barr to proclaim our second reading from the New Testament. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith, so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over, so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be, might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. My family, Brianna and James, this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Didn't James look so handsome? He did a pretty good job. He came up very well. <laughs> and as Brianna was walking with her dad, happy dad, Ooh. bad my brother, my friend, and uh, I said, do you know this girl? He said, no, who is this girl? You felt to recognize you. Looks so beautiful. Looks beautiful. So another big round. So close. <laughs> My dear friends, we gather here today to witness and celebrate the union of James, William, and Brianna. 
We are not mere spectators at a game. We are witnesses, fellow celebrants, as today two souls become one. James and Brianna, we thank you for inviting us to be part of this very special day, representing those who sit beside you and the family and friends, namely your parents, seated right behind you. Your decision to share this day with us is a testament to the love and connection we all share. To all who have come here today, I mean the beauty of this spring day, even though it's raining, the rain is always good. It reminds us that God showering is blessing. So I extend my deepest gratitude for just being here. There are a hundred different things you could be doing, but you have chosen to be here with James and Brianna, and for that, we are thankful. Your presence is not only a tribute to their love, but also a gift to both the Reardon and the Crow families. And yes, we are all eagerly invited to the reception that will follow this joyous ceremony. I did not get an invitation, but I'm going to crash the party. <laughs> <laughs> now, James and Brianna, I to tell you how much I enjoyed getting to know you at our first and last session, three weeks back at St. Padreton Rectory, with a bottle of red wine in our pre-Paris session. Your heart was refreshing. Your love and respect for each other was obvious. During one of the sessions, I asked you a question that asked every single couple whose wedding I'm going to officiate. And this was a question, why have you chosen this one to be a life partner? Because these days you can find the guys on the e-harmony, <laughs> plenty of fish, <laughs> and what else? A tender. Right. Are you on tender? Are you on tender? Oh, right. check it. So with all the admirable single men and women in this world, why this one? Do you recall what you said and wrote in your email? Because I have the answers right here. This is what our friend James writes about Brianna, the good looking man of this day. The reason I have chosen Brianna to my life partner. And this is back to your gift to each other. Because of Brianna's kindness, genuineness, and ability to warm your heart with a laughter. Her hard work, inspiration, and calming presence during, this, during times of stress are qualities that deeply resonate with you. You admire her care and concern for others. Her appreciation of life's small joys her unmet sense of adventure and spontaneity, the love she has for your niece and nephews, her devotion to her parents, and her generosity towards others are all aspects that you cherish. You, have hi you highlighted her listening skills, problem-solving abilities, and trust she has placed in you. Her culinary skills, her ability to appreciate the small, intricate things in life and the unconditional love she shows you daily are reasons why you have chosen her as your life partner. Isn't it so beautiful? So please give it a bigger round of applause. And beautiful Brianna, you express your love and admiration for James's unwavering support and his ability to help you become a better person. His efforts to make you happy, even in the smallest gestures, fill you with a sense of love and appreciation. You value his strong connection with friends and family, his warmth and his open-heartedness. His certainty in your relationship, even in challenging times, has brought you both through difficult moments, including the recent pandemic. You appreciate his willingness to step out of his comfort zone and try new things even when he may initially resist. His sense of humor, the unspoken communication you share, and his ability to listen and support you are your qualities you deeply cherish. You admire his intelligence, his wealth of knowledge, and your shared dreams and aspirations for the future. Above all, you love his heart and the love he has shown you, which is pure, loyal, reliable,
thoughtful and feels like home. I can't believe the beautiful words. So give you guys a Well, well, well. Today, as we celebrate your union, I want to address a truth that we must acknowledge. James, there will be days when Brianna may not appear as beautiful, sweet, and gracious as she does today. There will be days when she comes home from work, carrying the weight of the difficult day, and unintentionally redirects her frustration towards you. So keep your chest ready, all right? And Brianna, there will be moments when James Imperfections such as picking his toes, not picking up socks and underwear, may test your patience. There will be times we may not particularly like each other, but the question that truly matters is, will you still love each other? Sociologists tell us that romantic love decreases in the first years of marriage. And that is why there is something deeper something more profound than mere liking and romantic love. The scripture passage we have chosen today here for this mass, often referred to as a love chapter which proclaimed beautifully by your cousin Susan Barnum, describes the sacrificial love within the Christian community. It reminds us that love is not dependent on feelings, frustration, and even agreement. Love is a choice. And today, we both are making a choice. Allow me to paraphrase the words of St. Paul as he challenges and call both of you to embrace. James, be patient and kind. Do not be envious, boastful, or rude. Brianna, let anger and grudges find no place in your heart. Embrace truth, hope, and endurance. May you both aspire to love each other in this selfless, sacrificial way, even when one of you isn't hurt or disappointed. Choose love. When your capacity to love feels depleted, may God's love flow through you. And for human love has its limits, but God's love knows no bounds. As we embark on the journey together, Brian and James will offer our joyful encouragement. We stand by your side as your cheerleaders in the years ahead. But remember, God will be your center, your source, and your gift of love to one another. And this is a promise that will guide you through joys and challenges of marriage. So with our heart full of love and blessing, we celebrate your union today and the beginning of your life as one. May your love continue to grow, may your commitment deepen, and may you always find strength in the love that you share. Amen? 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 Amen. That was short enough? Right, <laughs> Yesterday I was uh, at a wedding rehearsal and uh, I was talking to James's parents. I said, how long have you been married? And they said that they were married for 41 years. I said, wow, that's amazing. Then uh, last Sunday, Pat and Susan celebrated 40 years of marriage. So, what advice are you going to give to your children? What are you going to tell Brianna on her wedding day? What do you tell her? I'm asking you, Pat. <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> what do you say? Sue, so, what, what, what are you telling Brianna? Do not be a person. Yes, and what do you need to do to foster that love?
okay, okay. <laughs> so dear parents, your beautiful daughter, Brianna, and your good-looking boy, James, join their lives in marriage. They also bring it together in a new relationship, creating new bonds of trust and ties of affection. Will you give them your love, your blessing, and your support? If so, please show your love and support by saying, we will. We will. Did you hear? She said yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we will. We will. All right, that's a good sign. All right. Ask everyone to rise for the family and friends. My dear friends, bride and groom have invited you here because you are very important people in their lives. Your love and support will be always important. Will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to preserve this marriage? Will you give them your love, your blessing, and your support? If so, please show your love and support by saying loudly and very clearly, We will. We will. All right. What a problem. We will. Okay. Sit down. All right. All right. You can sit down. So my dear friends, Brian and James, you come together in the church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the priest and your family and friends and your parents. Christ blesses this love. He has only consecrated you in baptism and now enriches and strengthens you by very special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in a mutual lasting fidelity. So in the presence of the, your family and friends, I ask you to state your intention. So, Brianna Lee and James William, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to each other in marriage? I do. I do. Are you sure? Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Will you love and honor each other as a man and wife for the rest of your lives? I do. I do. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and in church? I do. Oh, we do. Yes, we do. That's good. <laughs> Since it is the intention to enter in this holy sacred matrimony, join your hands, hold each other's hands, and look into our eyes and repeat after me. All right. I, James William, take you, Brianna Lee, to be my wife. Knowing in my heart. Knowing in my heart. special day. I give to you. I give to you. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. My promise to stay by your side. My promise to stay by your side. As a good looking husband. As a good looking husband. <laughs> <laughs> James William, to be my husband, knowing in my heart that you will always be my best friend, my partner in life, my one true love. On this special day, I give to you in the presence of God. I promise to stay by your side as your wife, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, as well as
comfort and support you each and every day, to laugh with you, to cry with you, to grow with you in mind and spirit, and to always be open and honest with you and to cherish you. So as long as you both shall live. What God has done together, no one must separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you are given and enrich you with his blessings. Amen. Almighty God, bless this ring, symbols of faithfulness and unbroken love. May James and Brianna always be true to each other. May they be one heart and one mind. May they be united in love forever, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We put a hand. Brianna Lee. Brianna Lee. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a symbol of my love and fidelity. As a symbol of love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. James, will you take this ring as a symbol of my love and fidelity? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, in God's presence and before your family and friends, you have made your promise to each other to be helpful, faithful in life together. So, now I declare you to be husband and wife. Now, she wants a kiss. Now, James, a kiss, your married wife, Brianna. My dear friends, let us pray to our Heavenly Father that He will keep Brianna Crow and James Reardon united in undivided love and that He will bless them throughout their married life. After every prayer, let our response be, Lord of love, hear our prayer. Please repeat, Lord of love, hear our prayer. We pray for Brianna and James, that their life together be filled with love and happiness. May they always be true friends to each other and together join to face the challenges of life. 
May their home be filled with love. Bless them on their journey to life. We pray to the Lord. Lord of love, hear our prayer. By this marriage, the Reardon and the Crow families have become, have now become one. May these families continue to be source of love and support and guidance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we thank you for the gift of friendship. We pray for the family and friends of Brianna and James. We are come to be here today. We are truly grateful for their support and encouragement. May the Lord bless them for their kindness. For this, we pray to the Lord. For all married couples here in our presence, be reminded of the joy of their own wedding day. May they fill with the gratitude for the happiness that they have known. And may their love and devotion continue to grow. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Remember the smiles and laughter of those who have departed before us, who have loved to share in the love and happiness of today. We thank you for the memories, memories they have left us. We remember this day. Susan and Bill Sheffrin, Patrick Crow Sr., Joshua Boyer, grandparents Jim and Marge Reardon, William and Agnes, Bob Loughlin, Michael Reardon, Vincent Cahill, Gerald Malone. Keep them in your care until one day we reunite again. For this we pray to the Lord, Lord of life. Loving God, you are the author of marriage, and so we ask you to watch over all married couples, especially Brianne and James. May each day of married life bring them closer to you because of your continuing guidance and care. We ask this prayer to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This time I'd like to invite uh, all the people to bring gifts in the altar. Michael O'Loughlin and Keen Cahill, John and Annette Crow to bring gifts to the altar. Parish family and you, Brian and James, pray. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted by the God Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice the hands for the praise and glory of His name. Lord, accept our offerings for this newly married couple, James and Brianna. By your love and providence, you have brought them together. 
Now bless them all the days of their married life. We are just praying to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and living God, we do well always and every way to give you thanks. You created man in love to share your divine life. We see his high destiny in the love of husband and wife, which bears the imprint of your own divine love. Love is a man's origin. Love is a constant calling. Love is a fulfillment in heaven. The love of man and woman is made holy in the sacrament of marriage and become the mirror of your everlasting love. Through Christ, the chorus of angels and all the saints, praise and worship your glory. May our voices blend with theirs as we join in the unending hymn of your glory as we sing. Jesus to pray, giving thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine again. He gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our beloved Pope, John, our bishop, all the other bishops, priests, religious, deacons, and all those who minister to, holy, to your holy people. Remember, Father, our families and our friends. I ask you your special blessing about this newly married couple. Bless them and give them your close to your heart. Bless them the gift of the children and grandchildren. They have sent down so they can find the solace in each other. And you pray for the reception to go well so all can have fun. <laughs> and all those we do not love as we should. Remember all those who have died, remembering all the Jesus members of the poor and reared families. Bring them home to you to be with you forever. Gather us all together into kingdom. Then we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Mother of the Church. Saint Joseph, our most just spouse, Saint Father Ten, our patron saints, and Agnes, Padre Pio, Saint Rita, Cousin, Saint Francis, Saint James, Saint William, and all the friends of Jesus the Lord will sing a song of joy. Through whom we may in the unity of the Holy 
receive the Eucharist, uh, I will uh, give the Eucharist to newly married couple and uh, the party. If you are prepared to receive the Eucharist, receive communion in your hands. And I give the body of Christ, let your answer be Amen. If you don't receive communion, put your hands on your chest so we can impart you a special blessing. My dear family, behold, this is Jesus, the Son of God and Son of Mary, our brother who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. And together, prayerfully, we all say, Lord, I am not worthy that you my roof. Say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ bring us to a lasting life.
Blessing, few remarks. I want to thank Matt Boyer and Susan Bonner for proclaiming the word of God. Wonderful. And I'd like to congratulate the parents of the bride and groom, Susan and Patrick Crow, Shuang and James Reardon, for important role you have played in their lives. So what a joy, a happy joy for them. So please everybody join together and we give them a big round of applause for the parents. <laughs>
Oh, this, yeah, this one's a, a tax mom. Uh, All right. 